Hello everyone, welcome. Today, we're tackling a common frustration, Adobe Acrobat DC's persistent sign-in prompts. It can be annoying to constantly see these, especially if you prefer using Acrobat offline. This video will show you how to disable these sign-in requests. Let's get started and reclaim our focus. First, we'll explore the registry editor method. This involves making changes to the Windows registry, so be cautious and follow the steps carefully. Open the registry editor by searching for regedit in the Windows search bar. Navigate to the following path, hkua underscore current underscore user backslash software backslash adobe backslash adobe acrobat backslash dc backslash av alert. If the av alert key doesn't exist, you'll need to create it. Right click on the dc folder, select new, and then key. Name it av alert. Next, right click inside the av alert key, choose new, and then dword, 32 bit, value. Name this new value I suppress UAC. Double click on I suppress UAC and set its value data to 1. Click OK. Now, let's disable the Acrobat sign integration. Go to this registry path, hkua underscore current underscore user backslash software backslash adobe backslash adobe acrobat backslash dc backslash preferences. Look for a dword value named be enable acrobat sign in. If it exists, double click it and set its value data to 0. If it doesn't exist, create it just like before, choosing new, then dword, 32 bit, value, naming it be enable acrobat sign in and setting its value to 0. Another thing we can do is modify the Acrobat's preferences file directly. Close Acrobat DC. Open File Explorer and navigate to percent apt to percent backslash Adobe backslash Acrobat backslash DC backslash preferences. Look for a file named Acrobat Distiller Press. Open it with Notepad or a similar text editor. Add the following lines to the end of the file, slash functional, Acrobat, services equals zero. Save the file. Now, open Acrobat DC again. Hopefully, the sign-in prompts should be gone. Remember to restart your computer after making these changes for them to take full effect. These steps should significantly reduce, if not completely eliminate, the Adobe Acrobat DC sign-in prompts. While these methods work for many users, keep in mind that Adobe updates can sometimes re-enable these prompts. You might need to revisit these settings after updates. Always back up your registry before making changes. This is a preventative measure against any unforeseen issues. It allows you to restore the registry to its previous state if something goes wrong. That's it for today's video. I hope this helped you get rid of those annoying Adobe Acrobat sign-in prompts. If you found this video useful, please like and share it with others who might benefit. Consider subscribing for more helpful tips and tutorials. Your support helps me create more content like this. Thank you for watching.